Today, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing seven, seven items, uh, Easter items that Maria sent us from Berlin, Germany. Thank you very, very much to Maria. Uh, some of them are individually wrapped. Some of them are just open once you get into the bag. Uh, but uh, Maria thankfully sent me a cheat sheet, so I'm going to try to uh, introduce these, all of these to you. Because they're all in German. Yes, they're yeah. all written in Germany. Uh, in in German. Um, so, this is the Oscar Fantasy brand, and these are going to be, uh, these are all almond uh, coated eggs. So, there's going to be an almond in the center of these. These are the vanilla, and then these are called Zabiglone, and they're like an Italian dessert. Never heard of them. No, this is tiramisu. This one is a coconut. This, these are, these are um, yes, these are Advocate Truffles. Kevin is holding the Whiskey Cream Truffles. And then lastly, we have Filled Peppermint Eggs. So I decided to do those last because they're, they're peppermint. So, we will try these Come first. Back, please, please. I'm assuming you can, yeah, take that off and then cut the top off. So, it says they're chocolate covered and flavored almonds. And this one is uh, vanilla and half of the bag is 563 calories. But that's for half a bag. And they're big. Mm -hmm. Notice how I chose the, the largest one. She did. Mm. That has a nice amount of um, coating on. I might put that back on there. It kind of reminds you of um, powdered sugar on a shortbread cookie. Yeah, um, I can see that. The flavor of the it's like a white chocolate, which is not an American white chocolate. It's it's a uh, it's a European white chocolate. Right. That's the flavor I'm getting. It's a milky creaminess. Yeah, it, it, it just it reminds me, like I said, of like a, a plain cookie with powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. But I do like it. It doesn't have a strong vanilla flavor, I didn't think. Uh-uh. No, it's more of that, like I said, white, like a white chocolate kind of flavor. But it is very nice, and I could definitely eat half a bag. Mm-hmm. It's not. Oh my gosh, that good. smells so sweet. It does smell sweet, very sweet. This is that Zablangoni. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all. Probably not. 563 calories for half the bag. Mm. Um, it smells very sweet. Huge. Well, you are grabbing the biggest one out. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's what I do. That's like... Um, an almond with a chocolate coating, or like a coating of, ch of chocolate-like stuff, but it's not chocolate. I like the flavor of them. She said they're chocolate-covered almonds. I know, but it's not like it's not like a milk chocolate. It's not like a traditional white chocolate. It's got a different flavor than that. That's what I mean. The texture is is definitely a chocolate-like flavor. It tastes like an extremely very very sweet cream. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. It's not like ooh, it's coffee. Um, it is not. Um, it's not like white chocolate. That's what I was trying to say. It's not like a chocolate. It's it's some. It's something different. It's almost like um, when you're, you're making a cake and you put the the stuff that you put in a mixer to mix it together before you actually put the cake mix in, like lots and lots of sugar and egg or whatever to make it thin. Mm -hmm. But. Um, <clears throat> It's very, very sweet, almost like, a, it doesn't taste like an eggnog, but it reminds me of that kind of, like, it's going that way. Like, it's just very, very sweet. I think they're delicious. I like those more than I do the vanilla ones. I do, too. This is the tiramisu. Yeah, smell. Oh, coffee. my God. It's very strong coffee. Oh, it smells delicious. And they've got, like, a powdery coating on the outside, too. 551 calories for half the bag. Ooh. Some strong coffee. I 
I think our version of tiramisu over here is an Americanized version. Mm -hmm. And it's more sweet, mm -hmm. a sweet dessert. But I think a true tiramisu is more coffee. I, you do get the coffee here. Oh. I yeah. mean, I mean in America. That's true. You do get it coffee, strong as that. but it's mainly sweet. These, I still get the sweet. They're they're very sweet, but that coffee is paramount. That coffee. Wow, well, you know you're drinking. You know you're eating coffee. <laughs> you feel like you're drinking, drinking it. Yeah. The flavor that's left over has a bite to it mm -hmm. because it's strong. It's very strong. But they did a great job. This last one. It's coconut and it's 577 calories for half a bag. Now, is it this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was two that had powder on them and two that just had the chocolate coating. I like that, that the coconut's good, it's in there, but it's not like too strong. Mm -mm. It just adds a sweetness to it more than anything, just a, a little bit of the coconut flavor, but it's not like Ooh, coconut. Yeah. We've had, um, if you've ever had a Ritter Sport candy bar with coconut, that tastes the same. It's the same coconut flavor. Yeah. I like it. I think the Ritter's a little stronger than that, but, you think but so? I agree it's similar. It's yeah, similar it reminds me of that. Very sweet, very delicious. Out of those, my favorite though is that the second one. Zabling yeah, donate, whatever, if that Italian dessert one. Yeah, that's my That thing. is uh, hands down delicious. Okay. Be the These for me. are the same brand. <clears throat> and you want half of that or hold the whole one? Um, I'll, I'll try to eat it all. Um, I mean, I was going to try to bite it in half. So. Oh, go ahead. No, that probably won't work. Um, these are um, the Advocate Truffles. They're uh, milk chocolate eggs filled with an Advocate cream. Now it looks darker. Th yeah, it it looks like dark chocolate. It says milk chocolate, but it, it looks like dark. Three eggs are 157 calories. Hmm. Is it, it let me say. Ooh. Oh, that, that's alcohol. Ooh. Advocate, yeah. I don't know, what I, I don't know my alcohols. You've had an advocate that. I'm sure I have. I just don't remember them. I'm not a drinker, that's for sure. Mm. It's strong. I like it. I like it too, but it's like almost like raw, like almost rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Pretty strong. Um, I think to a lot of people, they would think that that was... <clears throat> they would think that was too strong. I think it's pretty strong. I like it. It's not one that you're, I personally would overindulge in. Yeah. Like those almonds, I could overindulge in those because they're not strong. They right. don't have that alcohol. Those truffles are something I could eat one and walk away from it um, just because it is so strong. Okay. So yeah. that's a positive to me. Um, it's a these, very strong alcohol. <clears throat> are the whiskey cream truffles. Yeah, I like a good whiskey. Milk chocolate eggs filled with a milky whiskey cream. Uh, these are also 157 calories for three. I'm gonna eat the fat part this time. That's what I did last time. Huh. Mm. My cream almost fell out. It's a darker cream. That's a rough whiskey. Mm-hmm. We don't drink a lot of whiskey in Kentucky. We drink mostly bourbon, mm -hmm. which is a little smoother. Mm-hmm. Whiskey has a whiskey has a harshness to it. Yeah. It's a little like ugh. That I don't feel like bourbon has. Yeah. Bourbon's very smooth. But I do Oh I'm sure there's whiskeys that are smooth too, that, that particular whiskey's not. <laughs> I do like the whiskey. Out of the two, between the Advocate and the whiskey, I would choose the whiskey. I would too, because that Advocate literally tastes like rubbing alcohol to me. <laughs> it's really, really strong. It, yeah. it truly is. I agree it's, with it's you. It's raw alcohol. Um, I, I, and even though I, I could eat them, they are strong. But the whiskey, to me, even though it does have a little bit of a harshness to it, I still think it has a good flavor. Oh, it's good, a really good flavor, yeah. I, I like those. But like I said, that would be the one I'd pick as well. So. Now, I saved these for last because they're peppermint. Maria had put them first on the list, but 
Mm. Once we get the, the flavor of peppermint in our mouth, you know, it's hard to get that out. So I thought, well, we'll try those last. Um, and these are, are those the only two colors in the bag? Uh, I think so. I think it's a blue one too, but I can't tell. No, just silver. No, just silver uh, and green. Yeah, that mm -hmm. surprises me. It looks like this one's blue, but then when because it comes out, it's, it's because it's in that package. Yeah. Um, this is a peppermint. I feel they're strong. Peppermint filled eggs. They are dark chocolate eggs with a peppermint filling. Three eggs are 135 calories. So I now mean, you can that. see the difference in the color. You didn't smell it. I, I smelled it. I mean, I didn't hold it up, but I it's could very smell it. I could smell it in my hand. It's very strong. Hmm. It reminds you of the texture of your peppermint patty a little bit. Except the, the middle of the cream is a little softer in these. And they're not strong. I'm impressed with how soft that chocolate is. Mm -hmm. Because typically dark chocolate, you would expect to have to crunch. Was that naked? Yeah, it was naked. <laughs> It was out of the package and now it's gone. Just leave it. Sorry. Um, typically, you would have a dark chocolate you would expect to crunch through it. That one was soft, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was very soft. And the good cream flavor. was like soft. The yes, it's delicious. Um, not toothpastey. It doesn't taste like toothpaste. Um, if you had to pick a peppermint to compare it to, are you going with York? Yeah, because York is. Uh, it's not like an Amy's. Yeah, it's like chocolate in the middle too. Oh, um, yeah. Amy's is more of a sweet peppermint, like a, like an after dinner kind of mint. Whereas a York is very strong peppermint. This is kind of in between. Right. Because it's not an in your face kind of peppermint like a York peppermint patty is. Right. It's good. Well, but the chocolate's very dark when you eat it by itself. Maria, I am just assuming that the two with whiskey and advocate are not for children's Easter baskets. <laughs> now, please correct me if I'm wrong because Maybe I always are. enjoy uh, learning more. Um, Maybe they start their children early. Maybe they do. Well, and, and um, you know, um, I, I know about you know, a lot of Christmas traditions in other places, but I don't know a lot of, about a lot of uh, Easter traditions. So I don't know, you would, uh, think that since all these Easter foods are available, they would do Easter baskets in Germany too. Right. But maybe they have a different tradition. Maybe they don't put them in an yeah, Easter you basket. You give out candy to your children at, at Easter in, a, in some kind of packaging. Yeah, do you do that? I think that would be fun for everybody to well, learn. Well, I mean, they are marketing eggs and stuff like that. You would, and so you would think you would put them in a basket. You would think they do something. Like and like these that aren't individual <coughs> Would you just put the whole package in a basket or would you take them out? Because you could easily take these out because there's no, there's no coating on the outside. You could definitely put these in a basket. Just and sprinkle them. Like yeah. jelly beans. Ex yes, like we do jelly beans. So that's that's what my or parents put in eggs. did with jelly put beans. Them in plastic eggs. They would just pour the jelly beans out in the basket. Or, yes, you would fill eggs. So you would take another egg and put those in. And you get the surprise jelly beans at the end when you pull the plastic, the, the grass out, you'd get like five or six. Yeah, you would find eggs in the bottom. It's like, oh, there's more. Um, but I'd be very interested to know are these for adults or do you buy them for children too? But my favorite thing out of everything are is this the one? No, it's this one, the Italian. Um, the Zablangoni or Yeah, whatever. probably me too. Although I really like the texture of the cream eggs. I really like the texture of the alcohol for me is a little more than I want to eat all the time. So that's the one I would buy all the time. That's probably the one I'd buy. That or the peppermint. The peppermint was really peppermint good. Peppermint was right. Yeah, but the, I think they were all good in their own right. Yeah, but oh that's yeah. just the one I would go to again. Right. So thank you very, very much to Maria. Uh, I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.